For those of you who are new here, my name is Daniel Titchener and I'm an architect and photographer living in London. And this is my minimalist workspace. During the past few months, many of us have spent more time working from home than ever before. Because of this, I thought it would be prudent to at least consider what would be the perfect workspace for my line of work as a minimalist designer and creator without breaking the bank. When I first started working at home from our apartment whilst at my old job, I initially had an incredibly minimal folding desk that was perfect for working from home just once or twice a week. However, for everyday use, it didn't quite cut it. In our new space, I wanted a desk that was bigger, stronger, and more functional than ever in order to store all of my associated workspace clutter and to work much more effectively whilst at home. As a minimalist, I like to consider the versatility of an item, so I've always been attracted by modularity in furniture in order to remove or adapt parts as you please. Because of this, the desk I ended up going for was a mixture of readily available parts online. The foundation of the desk consists of two generic square industrial table legs, which you can easily find on either Amazon or eBay. This is paired with a 1250 by 750 melamine tabletop from Ikea for a total cost of just 66 pounds. You'll notice that this setup doesn't come with any storage, and that's because I've never been happy with the corporate aesthetic of stacked desk drawers, along with the fact that they take up so much space for your legs and feet. However, I still needed somewhere to store all of my workspace clutter. So what I did is add this awesome under desk drawer that I found on Amazon, which is large enough to house my laptop, planner, pens, cables, batteries and chargers, all while staying out of sight and not getting in the way of my knees because of its extremely low profile. What's also great about this drawer is that it can be attached to almost anything. So if you ever feel like transferring it to a different desk down the line, it's a great option to have as opposed to going out and buying a brand new one. By adding a little headphone hook, this has also allowed me to free up valuable desk space when my headphones aren't in use, while still keeping them within easy reach from my swivel chair, which is also from Ikea. I've also chosen to reduce visual clutter by fixing cable management trays to the underside of my desk, which keep cables from trailing along the floor and generally ruining the whole calm aesthetic. Moving to what's on the desk is the heart of the setup, my computer, which is a custom-built PC in an NZXT H1 case, which I absolutely adore and do almost all of my work on. To keep all of the ports easily accessible, Vava kindly sent me this USB-C dongle, which I've mounted on the underside of my desk. This gives me hidden but quick access to every port I'll ever need without having to reach behind my monitor and is especially useful for external SSDs and SD cards that I use for my editing workflow on a daily basis. This particular dongle actually comes with a DC power adapter as well, so if you have a laptop that's powered by USB-C, you can actually use this one cord to power it and connect to a dual monitor setup with its dual 4K HDMI ports. So you only ever have to plug in one cable for your laptop each time you dock it to your workstation, rather than fiddling with multiple cables and chargers every time you plug it back in. I've also been doing my editing of this secure 1TB SSD from Vava that works at speeds of up to 540 megabytes a second, which is five times faster than your typical spinning hard disk drive. I love it because it's so small that it will easily fit in your pocket and it looks great sitting on any desk in its clean aluminium gunmetal casing. All of this is hooked up to a 4K 60Hz IPS monitor from LG, which was really well priced back when I bought it and has been more than enough for editing all of my videos and photos, as well as regular sessions losing at Call of Duty with the lads. Typical monitor stands take up a lot of space and lack adjustability. So I've paired my monitor with this affordable monitor arm from Amazon, which hides all of my cables and allows me to quickly change and fine tune the position of my screen, all whilst freeing up valuable desk space for my EDC, which I typically dump in a shallow black wooden tray under my screen. When interacting with this setup, all of my peripherals are grounded by a black leather desk mat from Carl Friedrich. I've never owned a desk mat before and I was quite shocked at how much it makes the overall experience more pleasurable as it's much softer to the touch than a desk and it provides a much more luxurious surface to work at. On top of this I'm using the Keychron K2 wireless keyboard and Logitech M171 wireless mouse. I really love this keyboard's clean design and slightly retro feel and as it's mechanical I find it a much more pleasant experience to type on. 
Also, if you're into it, it's full RGB and has some pretty cool interactive features for you to get distracted by. One thing I will say is that this keyboard is quite high compared to typing on scissor switch keyboards, so I've paired this with a walnut palm rest that I ebonized myself to match the rest of the setup, and mainly to help with comfort when typing for long periods. As for the Logitech mouse, I've had this for ages now and they are cheap as chips. It was really tempting to upgrade this to something like the G Pro or MX Master Mouse from Logitech, but I'm really happy with it and I think that the dark grey colour scheme looks great next to the Keychron K2. One aspect of good desk setups that is often overlooked is good lighting. Tautronics, who are the sponsors of this video, were kind enough to send over their new desk lamp, which has been what you might call an eye-opening addition to this setup. Like a typical lever arm lamp, it's incredibly adjustable. However, this lamp has a clean and simple aesthetic and is not only dimmable, but also temperature and beam adjustable, meaning that you don't have to point glaring bulbs at your face in order to light up the middle of your desk, and you can adjust the temperature according to your preference or mood. Additionally, because it incorporates USB charging, this also acts as the place where I connect all of my batteries and gadgets to be charged via a single USB to USB-C cable attached to the back of the lamp. Tautronics also offered to improve the comfort of my setup with one of their air purifiers to help with allergies, odours, dust and pollution, which is especially important for big cities like here in London. I love this air purifier because it's small, portable, lightweight and has a clean, minimal design, which really looks at home under my desk, while it quietly takes care of my comfort and health from the space where I spend the most of my time. To end, I'll just say that although having a perfect workspace can be great for our productivity, I've found good health is even more essential for my focus. So I remember to regularly exercise and take breaks, despite making this space so hard to leave. Way before even making this video, I've always found Tautronics wireless earbuds great for playing music and listening to audiobooks whilst on the go. And giving these new ones a home on my desk ensures that they always stay charged and ready to go. These latest ones are also noise cancelling up to 35 decibels, and they take up almost no space at all, so I often end up forgetting I'm even carrying or wearing them. I know that compared to owning a simple do-it-all laptop, this whole setup isn't really that minimal, as there's quite a lot of stuff, but I found that together it provides me with the very best environment to work faster, smarter and more comfortably, which I found to really help in putting out more frequent, high-quality content for you guys here on YouTube. However you decide to set up your own workspace, that is up to you, and you have to tailor it to your own specific needs. However, I've found that as a minimalist designer and content creator, these items have been the most versatile and cost-effective route to my now-perfect setup. If you're new to the channel and are interested in seeing more content on minimalist design and general well-being, feel free to hit the subscribe button and say what's up down in the comments. This video was a really fun one to make, so I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And finally, I just want to say a big thank you to Tautronics for sponsoring this video, so definitely go and check them out and all of their amazing products using the links in the description. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.